Hi guys, after watching this video you will know how to set up low latency and reliable stream from your Raspberry Pi. If you are planning to set up some hobby security system or even apply some machine learning algorithms over the stream, you are in the right place. For the purpose of this video I am gonna use Raspberry 4B and uh, camera module version 2. But don't worry if your hardware is different, RPI Camera Toolkit supports bunch of cameras and boards. Let's start with quick theory introduction. If you are not interested, just jump to the main part of this video. So we have two basic ways of streaming video, TCP and UDP. Both has pros and cons, but in most cases, for real-time streaming, uh, UDP is better, because it's faster. TCP gives you more control over uh, buffering or handling packets lost over the network. So that's why, for example, Netflix is using TCP for streaming, uh, but for our real-time use case, I will stick with faster option, UDP. Okay, I already installed the newest version of Raspberry OS and connected my camera via uh, CSI socket. That's enough of talking, uh, let's get our hands dirty. I opened three terminals. First, we have to log in to Raspberry via SSH. To find out which address your router assigned to Raspberry, you can log in in admin router panel or just specify user and host with dot .local at the end. Password, probably some typo. Yeah, and we are in. But keep in mind, this prefix is not the same for everyone. This username and this host is exactly uh, the same as you specified while booting your operating system, your Raspberry system. At the beginning, before we start, I recommend you to run a sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Depending on your board and network, it may take a couple minutes. Okay, it's done. Let's stop for a second and clarify what is my goal. My goal is to stream inside my local network, to be more specific, wireless from my Raspberry to my MacBook. I'm gonna use built-in software RP cam UDP streaming exactly this command, but first I have to find out address of my MacBook and address of my Raspberry. Let's start with my MacBook, if config. And it's probably this one. 192.168.0.220 Let's fill this command with this address. Port, it's not a big deal, let's say 8888. And the streaming is going. But uh, let's stop it for a second and find out address of Raspberry. With the same command, if config, it's here. I will copy that and I am gonna rerun the stream. In third terminal, I want to receive the stream on my local, on my MacBook, with command ffplay, udp, paste the address of Raspberry, and the port I specified 8888. Okay, something is uh, missing. Two hours later. Of course, after wasted 10 minutes, I find out that there was a typo. Uh, it's not 186, it's 168. And rerun the client command. Now you should see window pop-up, which shows basically my uh, my room. I know I have to water my plant, but uh, <laughs> but it works. Resolution is quite poor, but uh, keep in mind that uh, this camera is uh, the cheapest one. Yeah, so I hope now you have basic understanding of UDP and TCP streaming. This is great base for, for example, applying some machine learning algorithms, as I said uh, at the beginning. If you want to see some tutorial related with this uh, topic, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon.